you take life for granted every day and you don't realize how much having two arms helps. He wasn't going to be able to just do things that, you know, little kids can just do. So many questions running through my head, like, how would I live? Like, how would I get by if the surgery didn't work? We started the brachial plexus and nerve injury clinic to offer a beacon of hope. These are devastating injuries where the nerves are damaged and it ends up resulting in paralyzed arms where people lose the function of their arm. The brachial plexus comes from the cervical roots. The nerves leave the spinal cord and join together in the side of our neck. The upper nerves, C5 and C6, are what control our shoulder and our elbow function. The lower nerves, C7 to T1, are gonna run down the arm and really control more of our hand function. It's been really neat watching the evolution of this clinic. When we started it 10 years ago, there was probably five to 10 patients that we would see in a day. And it's really grown tremendously. And we see now anywhere from 40, 50, and sometimes even 60 patients. We've got an incredible group of patients ranging from newborn babies that can be born with paralyzed arms to adults that have had trauma, spinal cord injuries, tumors that affect the nerves. And more recently, we've even been seeing patients with lower extremity nerve problems. So for Bobby's injury, what we found is that he had completely separated nerves. Every nerve has its own purpose. I had tore the C5 and C6. I could move my hand and my wrist, but just not the, the C5 and C6 function. After nerve injury, we typically wait for a few months to see if the nerve is gonna potentially recover on its own. And part of that evaluation is clinical examinations where we're grading muscle strength, we're looking at range of motion, we're doing something called an EMG, which is a nerve test. They put needles in this arm and they put them into the nerves and they shock it. If your nerve is attached all the way down, it, it will make it jump and flicker. Three months after the, the injury, they said, hey, there's no response to this EMG, let's go. Many of the operations that we could offer patients include moving nerves that are working and splice them into nerves and muscles that are no longer working. We could also perform tendon transfers that will take tendons from a functioning muscle that is expendable and we could transfer that over to a paralyzed muscle to help restore function. We were able to take nerves that were working well going down into the forearm, into the hand, and borrow a small portion of that nerve, transferring it into the nerves that weren't working at all. A lot like if the electricity is not working to a light, you can splice an electrical wire into it and now you turn on the switch and both lights will turn on. We can apply that same concept to the nerve work that we do in the body. Typically what happens with brachial plexus injuries is about 73%. They don't require surgery, it's just stretched and it just heals himself. But unfortunately with Christopher, his was more than stretched. He had a damage in his bicep muscle. So that is what required surgery. Over the course of the next year to year and a half, he developed a great ability to bend his hand, get his hand to his mouth, even behind his head. But one thing he was lacking is he didn't have the ability to reach away from his body. So once he hit about a year and a half, we talked to Christopher and his mother about doing something called a tendon transfer, where we use a muscle in the back that's working really well and we transfer it into the shoulder area. So with these type of injuries, a lot of patients over the years have been told in the past that there's nothing that could be done. That patients unfortunately are gonna to have to live with the loss of function. With the knowledge that we have and the surgical techniques that we've taken on, the innovations that we've done here, we are now able to really offer things that were never offered before. We use a team-based approach in the clinic as well as the operating room. We're able to bounce ideas off of each other and really come up with a tailored treatment plan that is specific for each patient. Dr. Loeffler and the team did an amazing job and 
I just remember trying for so long, months and months and months, and all of a sudden I felt flicker. So when I went and the doctor told me that I could do whatever I wanted to do with that arm, I knew right then the best thing to do was to be as healthy as possible, to make sure my body was performing at its best. And that's why I told him every time I go in there, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna be your number one in here. I'm telling you, I'm getting back full function and everything, not knowing what I would get back. I pushed to the, the absolute limit and got back all I could get. The surgery went really well, so it was basically just now a waiting game while he recovered to see how well he was going to do. Touch your head like this. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> you can do it, you can do it, you can do it! Every time we went for checkups, he was exceeding whatever it is that they had him doing. He's running around and he's reaching for stuff and he's playing with stuff. I just don't think anything is going to stop my child from doing whatever he wants to do at this point. Our goal at Eartha Carolina is to raise the bar of patient care within the community in the region. One of the things I'm also very proud of at the Brachial Plexus Clinic is our dedication to research. And every one of our patients is collected in a database so that we can objectively evaluate their outcomes and then for future patients can learn more about which procedures are working the best, which aren't working as well. The feeling of seeing a patient who goes from having a paralyzed arm to being able to get back to work, to do things that they never thought they would be able to do again is just really gratifying. It's really exciting to be able to offer them hope and offer them functional improvement. Loeffler and his team were just made me feel really confident in their ability. They were very open about everything. They didn't leave anything to the imagination. The doctors do 100% the best job they can do, and then you have to give the rest. You just can't give up. You just can't give up. That's the main thing.